Hi guys, this JJRC Q46 speedrunner 112 scale 2.4 GHz 4 wheel drive RC high speed racing vehicle was sent to me by rcmoment.com. So thank you very much. Now let's unbox this thing. And by the way, it's claimed to run 45 km an hour. Now we are in. The manual is a small one this time. Ta-da! Here it is. So we have a basic wall charger for two S lithium batteries. An adapter for the US is included. Now let's get the car out of this box. Nice, nice color. The chassis is almost identical with the WL Toys 12428, I think. What's inside this little bag? A small screwdriver and a 4-way hex wrench for the wheel nuts. And of course we also have a transmitter. It takes 4 AA batteries. And it has two steering adjustment knobs. Okay, back to the car. Now let's have a look inside the battery compartment. This is a 3000 mAh 2S lithium ion battery. But 3000 mAh? I don't think so. Nice and rubbery tires, not too hard and not too soft. The diff is working nice and free. No oil filled jocks. The steering doesn't have much backlash, good. I also like the metal skid plate. I think this could be the same chassis as in the WL Toys 12428. Only the shock support on the rear axle is different. There is also a second shock support, just like in the WL Toys 12428. Yes, no oil, so it's a little bit jumpy. But this doesn't really matter for a crawler. The articulation is quite reasonable. The battery connects to the charger with this standard balance port. Of course you can also use a hobby grade balance charger. Now I have added 4 AA rechargeables to the transmitter. So let's switch it on. Nothing. We may have to switch on the car first, just like in WL Toys cars. Yes, now it's working. The steering center position can be adjusted with the left knob. But what is the second knob? Nothing. Next test. How big is the dead zone around the center position? Looks pretty bad.
Looks like it's pretty fast. Nothing happened. As I said, it may be a WL Toys chassis. So, is it compatible with a WL Toys transmitter? Let's find out. No, nothing. The protocol may be different. Now let's do a little comparison with the WL Toys 12428. As you can see, the chassis is pretty much identical. Both cars have metal drive shafts in the front and metal joints on the prop shafts. The battery compartment looks a little bit small. So, will a 2200 mAh LiPo fit? No, unfortunately not. And yes, we are on the DIY Guy 999 channel here. So we want to have a look inside. It's a 540 can size motor. It may be the same as in the WL Toys. But we want to see more, so let's remove the entire body. That's it, only 4 screws. This is better than in the WL Toys. It also looks identical from the inside. The only difference I can see is the red housing of the ESC and that it has only 4 MOSFETs instead of 6. This car may even come from the same factory as the WL Toys models. Nice steering mechanism. The steering servo is a 5 pin type, just like in the WL Toys. This piece of gunk is funny. And yes, this is a ball bearing in the wheel hub. We want to keep fine gravel outside the gearbox, so let's add some white glue to protect the gearbox. I have used this simple method in several cars so far and it works just fine. If required, you can still open the gearbox without a problem. But dirt stays outside.
first we want to remove the wheels and the outer axle bearings. And by the way, I like the plastic shielded ball bearings. The prop shaft joints are twisted 90 degrees. We will also change that later on. One half of the axle housing is now removed. And this is the disassembled differential. And here we have the culprit, a cracked differential bevel gear. Luckily I had a WL Toys front differential in stock. So I completely disassembled the rear differential. The screws which hold the bevel gear on the axle are loctited. And unfortunately one of them sheared off. Here you can see both halves of the rear prop shaft. They are now aligned in the right orientation. This is one half of the axle without the bevel gear mounted. In this step I realized that this car really doesn't come from WL Toys. Why? Because the bevel gears don't have the same thickness. And if you have a very close look, you can see that all the parts are different in detail. They definitely don't come out of the same mold. So I had to replace the entire differential. All the main dimensions are the same though. This allows to use WL Toys replacement parts for this car. We want a very strong adhesion between the JJRC bevel gear and the WL Toys axle. So two component glue is applied. This is the test fit of one axle half. The gear mesh between the JJRC bevel gear and the WL Toys bevel gear is perfect. The spider gears are now back in place and the inside of the differential housing is packed with silicon grease. Everything is now back in place, ready to mount the cover. And yes, the repaired car survived a 2 km trail run without a problem. But this will be part of the next video, so stay tuned. If you like this video, Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Bye!